uh, creating a data system catalog with info on the new and old systems, right? So that's making sure that you've got that information in this in a centralized, viewable, documentable place that you can see what's what's in these these systems. Documenting data migration specifics, so the data mappings and code value mappings between those two systems. So having that catalog information there, adding that um, lineage data migration mapping and the code value mappings between the systems are really important for both, both like making sure that the actual project data runs well, but historically going back and, and being able to answer like, why did this data, you know, where did this data come from and why does it not match what we used to have? Um, documenting your configuration and code settings in the new systems or like why you made these decisions, what are the codes in the new system, what do they mean? Uh, so as you're gonna use that later. Establishing data quality rules. Um, and, you know, part of the data migration is you're gonna set a lot of rules for data quality and, and maybe put those into um, documented rules moving forward and maybe even creating some monitoring so new data that gets entered can get captured. Um, delivering data training and facilitating self-service reporting. A lot of times when you implement a new system, uh, they'll give you training in the tools, but not training in the data. And uh, so if you're capturing this information, most people can use the tools pretty easily. Uh, you know, the tools are getting better and better and better. But if you can say, here's the, you know, here's the new data and the new system and what these tables are, and also here's our like overlay glossary for what these things mean and, and, and how they, where they came from and having all that will really help people run with, with ongoing uh, self-service reporting and things like that. Um, managing a, a reporting migration effort with data governance knowledge base is, 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 is you know, I, I mentioned that, that some of this process, but, um, Creating this report catalog as you're building up the new the new reporting tools, we actually have a sort of a recommended process for this on how to document your old things and the new things and make decisions and window down your list and all that. And I think I'm going to go ahead and make a future snack size webinar topic out of that. Um, so so that's a really high value place to put that data, data governance process is managing the report migration process. Um, from a governance standpoint, routing needed decisions for input or approval. We talked about this just in time data governance. You, know, you can save a lot of time if you don't have to get all 30 people from the project, you know, in one room to talk about, you know, how you're defining the translation code or whatever. You want to break those things out so that people can take them and document them independently, but they get, you know, captured for the rest of the group to, to look at. Um, uh, one of the things from a governance standpoint that, that we often see is that as, if people are implementing data governance in a vacuum, they get very excited about things like workflows and approvals and stewardship. And they often say, you know, we're gonna have like this stewardship group that's followed by this oversight group that's followed by this particular other, other oversight group that's followed, you know, and they have six, seven step approval processes, right? And what I would recommend is that if you're doing an ERP implementation and you don't already have that kind of in place, is that try to, to focus the effort on content creation instead of too much approval steps. So that, that workflow should be mainly about trying to find the right people to to provide the right input to create that content and not to have an unlimited, you know, uh, barrier in time for, for approval and review. Uh, you can always go back and have someone say that needs, we want to change that if, if necessary. But so, so create simple streamlined workflows, focus mainly on getting the subject matter, if you need, subject matter experts that you need in, then, then on approval process. 